it's quite tricky to create some sort of textures inside Substance Painter, like glass materials, transparent materials, and LED lights. So in this lesson 10, we will create some LED lights and let's see what are some tips and tricks to create these. I have to show you something cool. What is it? What? In lesson 10, we will see how we can create LED lights in Substance Painter, especially the LED lights which are turned off. Okay. Now our LED lights are in the texture set of TV parts. So if I will turn it off and on, you can see it's there. So I will create the LED lights from completely from the scratch. Okay. That means I will not yet use, use anything from the shelf. I will just go directly here and create a fill layer. As soon as I will create, uh, create a fill layer, it will sh show me a black, uh, sorry, a white fill layer and everything will be turned into white okay which i actually don't want this to happen you can see that behind everything that i applied it's there the reason is that this fail layer is affecting all of these so i want to create a mask that can only uh, applied over here so i have two or three different choices one choice is that i can simply go in this add mask add a uh, like a black mask okay and it will be like created and then separately i have to then uh, take my brush okay make the brush a little smaller and one more thing before doing that i will go back to my fill layer here and change the color maybe to something like reddish okay little dark red go back here why so that when i'm uh painting over here the uh my mask so i will start uh getting that color so i will i will start doing that so you can see that it is creating but what if this background was part of it so it will be it would be very hard for me to paint okay so uh how this map look like if i will press alt on my keyboard or on the back if i press apple on my keyboard and click on the mask you can see that here is the mask which is creating so i am painting white color over here so whatever is white will show and whatever is black will not show so now it is completely showing because there is a white paint over it another way to do is that i can uh, remove this okay mask and uh, again you can see everything turned into uh, red because there is no mask i can go here right click and uh, I will not use black or mask or white mask. Okay, white mask means the whole thing will be white. Okay, and it will be same as this, and then I have to paint and you know those kind of things. It's like same thing as black, but it's like vice versa. It's like uh, uh, other way around. So I will choose here add mask with color selection. So if I will go here, okay, and then it will give me a mask with a color selection. Before working on this mask, let me go to the channel ID to show you something. You can see here there is a pink color uh, which is applied to this, uh, these LED. One LED here and then other LED, I think it's at the bottom. Let me zoom out. Here, they both are pink. So that means nothing else is pink, only the LEDs are pink. Okay, so let me press M to go back. So in the color like selection, what I can do here is that as soon as I will apply here, uh, right click and apply uh, add mask with color selection, I will have this option and I will have this color picker. And you can see it is taking the color from the ID mask. Okay. If I click on the pick color and then if I click on this pink, so this pink is now became the mask. You can see that both are now my mask. So if I go here, press Alt on PC and Apple uh, on Mac, so I can see they are automatically turned white. Okay. So this is how you can create masks, either with black mask and paint uh, over it uh, manually, or if you have channel IDs, you can choose the uh, mask with the color, and then you can pick your channel ID color, your uh, map ID color. So now we have this. Uh, red color over here but it does not look like an led light so what i will do here is that 
I will try to make a fake look of an LED light. So I will add a little bit met, uh, like metallic metalness to it. So right now it is uh, zero. Let me increase a little bit more. You can see that it's getting some color. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, this is fine. May, uh, maybe 0 0.4. Okay. 0 0.4, I think it's better. Okay. Also roughness because roughness, I think, should be a little less. Okay, right now it is too much because it's LED light and should be less. So maybe something like two. Oh no, two is too less. Maybe two point four. Yeah, better. Okay, and uh, this is what I have it now on my screen. And let's check the color here. I think this red is too dark. Okay, I think this is fine. Okay, so this is how I can get this here. Okay, one is here and other one. Oops. I think I lost my camera. So uh, if you, uh, if this happens to you, if you lose your camera, the track of your camera, just press F on your keyboard simply. Okay, and then you will get your uh, camera back on the track. So where we were, yeah, we were on the lights. So we have our two lights. One is uh, green, one is red. So what I want now is that I don't want both of them to be red. I want, I think, the top one maybe to green. So what I can do here is that if I, I can duplicate this one. Let me do one thing here. Okay. They all are uh, not uh, basically uh, named. So it's better to rename them. Layer one is basically an empty layer so I can delete that okay dotted plastic are basically the buttons okay you can see that so I can write here buttons hyphen controller okay uh, plastic grainy is basically this panel if you remember okay so I can write here side panel okay and uh, Steel rough are basically these uh, objects, which I will call it metal. Okay, this one I will rename it to red LED, and I will do one thing. I can right click over here, okay, and duplicate this layer. Once I will duplicate this layer, what I will do is that I will rename it to green LED, and I will change the color of this one from green no uh, from red to green now you can see it is green let me make it a little bit darker so it looks like it's a close LED uh, I think this is fine okay let me make it a little bit more dark. okay same thing let me hide this one let me do same thing with this one okay that's good now if I were to green LED turn it off or like turn it on back so you can see that it is showing on both which I actually don't want I only want this green to be appeared over here so what I can do here is that I can go to my uh, this uh, map ID okay I will click over here I will take my uh, brush and I will uh, change this uh, color from white to black and I will paint over here okay so but for that I have to right click here and add a uh, paint layer okay and then I can start painting over here so without the paint layer you cannot paint so I will paint it with the black color and you can see that now I have red over here and I have green over there so this, this is how I can have two LED lights at the same time. Now I will go back to here. So guys, this is how you can uh, make some LED lights, okay, different colors of LED lights and using mask and everything. So I hope you have learned about creating LED lights and everything. Uh, so uh, next class, we will see how we can make the screen. Okay, we will make two different kinds of screens. One screen, if the television is off, and other if the television is on okay so guys uh
if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it click on the bell icon and watch my tutorials from the beginning to the end there are important stuff that you don't want to miss and make sure you don't download it you watch it online and guys take care and i'll see you in the next class bye